So next topic is immunofluorescence and its uh, introduction first. Immunofluorescence is a method of visualizing intracellular molecules, processes, conditions and structures using antibodies which are labeled with fluorescent dyes. So we use antibodies which are labeled with some fluorophores and with the help of these fluorophores we are able to visualize various intercellular molecules and various structures present within the cells and tissues. Immunofluorescence labeled tissue sections, cell lines and cells are studied using fluorescence uh, a microscope and it uses specificity of antibodies for their antigens present in various cells and tissues. Different fluorophores may be tagged with antibodies. Uh, for example, uh, we can tag antibodies with FITC, fluorescein isothiocyanate. Similarly, uh, RATC, rhodamine may be used and many other fluorophores uh, can be used like Alexa fluor and uh, phloidine and similarly other uh, fluorophores. Immunofluorescence helps to evaluate whether or not cells or tissues in a sample express the particular antigens. If the cells are stained with uh, that particular uh, labeled antibodies, it means that antigen is uh, present in the cells or in the tissues. And if it is not uh, stained, then we say that particular antigen is not present. And along with these staining, we use control uh, samples where those antigens are not present. So negative control and positive control, they are also used. And these positive and negative control, they help us to evaluate whether uh, those cells express uh, those antigens are not. So, in case of uh, immunopositive signals, it determines which tissues and subcellular organelles express the particular antigens. Uh, so, various types of uh, fluorophores which can be used uh, these are fluorescein, rhodamine, lexafluorides, uh, which are used, but there are many other dyes which can also be used. And this use that depends on the dyes and the instrument available. Uh, we know uh, these uh, uh, fluorophores, they are detected with the help of uh, different, uh, uh, by using different filters and by using different other uh, instruments in the fluorescent microscope. So the use of fluorescent dyes that depends on the, uh, of course, the availability of the dyes and the instrument which we uh, are using. And this immunofluorescence is quite common technique in biological and in medical research. So, uh, different uh, biological research ke andar, ya jo medical field mein jo research hai, uske andar hum isko use karte hai, usko use karte hai, hum dek sakte hai, ke particular antigens, particular molecules, un sample ke andar, cells ke andar, tissues ke andar maujood hai, ya nahi hai.